feel like the world is in some serious shape right now and I think it's very timely to talk about and to sing about things that we wish for, which is for the world to be at peace and for love to be the centerpiece rather than war. And stop. Wow, is that plane going down? Holy smokes, we're in New York City, folks. We are arranged to be more like a hit after hit after hit where the songs were so memorable and so exciting to listen to whereas some of the other records that I've done in the past have been more thematic so they were me meant to just come in and just hit it and hit it hard and sustain and these uh, songs are a little bit more reflective We do everything pretty much over the internet, so if the tracks are created in one state and then they're flown over, and you kids, you know, everybody knows how it goes these days. Uh, we had Cliff Magnus, and we had Tommy Denander over in Sweden, we had James Christian in Florida, and we had uh, Ma or Applebaum who did the mastering over also in Los Angeles. So we put all the pieces together and we just work it as a unit. And it's almost as if we're in the same room most of the time because we're all very tuned into what we're doing at the same moment. He asked me if I would do a duet with him and I was so excited because here is Cliff Magnus and for those of you who don't know who he is, you need to look him up because it would be a, such a long award-winning, you know, Academy Awards and, and number one records and over a hundred million records sold and Kelly Clarkson and Avril Lavigne and me and I'm going, what? You know, so uh, I was so honored and once we started working together, it, it just came out that I was doing a record and he offered me a couple of songs and uh, or I may have even asked him for a couple of songs and once we started, it just got to be so real. We just connected so perfectly together that the more of his songs that I recorded, the more I wanted to do. And so here you are, what is coming. make it as an artist and uh, out of nowhere it just came out of a song that was written by two great jingle uh, writers and uh, basically got a phone call in the middle of the night saying hey did you know that you had a number one hit song in the UK and I thought it was my dear friend Steve Ferroni and it wasn't but the accent fooled me and uh, it's everything else is like just history. My career just kept going straight from there. First time. It was my first time. You know, I want to be in a serious relationship and the more you open up to me and the more you give me who you are, um, the more promising it will be. So it's, and in the song she believes that if, if that were possible, that they would be onto something really fantastic. Just a great relationship. She's through with games. I'm feeling so good about this album. This album keeps me up at night because the lyrics are running through my head. The melodies are so contagious that you can't help walking around humming them and singing them. And not just because I did them like a couple of times in the studio, but because they are they have momentum and they have uh, they have
story connection and, and I relate to them on so many levels. So it's going to be great to get out and perform it live because, uh, you know, I always try to do songs that have something to do with who I am as a person, but to have somebody else write the song and, have, and that I identify with it, that's unique. And so I'm exhilarated. I can't put into words how happy I am.